back in the mid-range area. See if we can find some more Quadov. Holy crap. This place is cleaned right out. Not to complain, but I don't think there's really enough for us to hunt in here. Oh, and then we find these two guys. And let's go ahead and claim this other guy too. Hmm, nothing. Yeah, these guys that I'm pretty sure are bots are not making it easy for us. I swear, every time I come in here, these guys are in here running around. Oh, nice. I hit him. Hit him squarely at that. Oh, I just saw another one go by. Is this one actually attacking someone? I'm a steal. I'm a steal one. I wonder if that guy will get mad that I just stole one of his quadobs. I think he was trying to group them together on purpose. There's a giant scorpion in here. Ah, we can go ahead and fight him just for the hell of it. Imagine having one of those as a mount. I'd be pretty nervous about the tail. Got a scorpion claw. Ugh. Oh, there's another notorious monster. If we can get to him before somebody else does. Ziggy Bone Eater. See if we can actually get to him. Oh, looks like somebody else might beat us to him. Oh, no. Yeah, no, somebody beat us to him. Oh well, that one's actually here partied up like we are. So Ziggy Bone Eater, even though we didn't get to claim him, that's okay, that happens. First come, first serve. Ziggy Bone Eater is a Paladin Quadov. He'll actually use the Paladin one hour ability Invincible during the fight, so he'll become invulnerable to... Oh, screw you, man. He'll become invulnerable to... to physical attacks. He drops some armor that gives you like minuses to your evasion. The only real use I can see for that is if you're trying to get skill ups and you want to get hit more often. Uh, he also drops a two-handed sword called the Braveheart, which is a pretty good low-level sword. I've honestly, I've killed him many times and I've never had him drop the Braveheart, but I don't know, maybe someday. You know, I never thought I'd say it in this day and age in FF11, but I think it might be a little too crowded here. We might have to continue this in uh, Constant Chat Highlands. It's funny, I almost got used to the there being nobody around. Now it feels weird that there's actually people around. Yeah, I think we'll just take this, the last of this mission and go continue in Constant Chat Highlands get the last of those fetish pieces my main reason for wanting to come here was just to make sure that we did showcase palboro mines i think we've seen enough of it and i'm sure we'll be we'll be back here again in the future anyway while we're here though we are going to take this boat because that is what triggers the next step for the dark knight quest
pull the lever against my better judgment. Bye. And we're leaving all our friends behind like an asshole. Oh, see that? We like didn't even stay in the boat there. So we're back in Zaren Mines. We haven't been here since episode one. Oh, look who it is. Why are you looking at me that way? Have you never seen a dark knife before? You say Gumba told you about me. That child is always crossing the line. It's unfortunate what happened to Were, but I see Volker has not changed. I had thought I might visit the Mines District, but if they are still there, I should probably not. And why is it that you have sought me out? You seek training to become a Dark Knight, perhaps. Yes, I sense you have already failed, felled many enemies. But the way of the Dark Knight is not one to be taken lightly. It is a hopeless road where anger and sorrow are your only companions. But if you still wish to become one, then take this sword. Let it feed on your bloodlust and the blood of your enemies. I must go. I have some business to attend to in Badukes, the Kudov stronghold. Sate that sword's hunger. We will meet again. There. So the Chaos Bringer is probably the crappiest greatsword in the game. It has a delay of 666, meaning it's heavy as hell. And you basically, you can only use it on Warrior, Dark Knight, or Rune Fencer, another advanced job. And you basically have to slay 100 enemies without using weapon skills and then return the sword to Zaid in order to become a Dark Knight. So it's not a difficult quest by any means, but it's a very tedious quest. And, oh, I thought I picked up a map of Zaren Mines. I guess I didn't. So like I said, folks, we'll, we'll continue the last of 1-3 elsewhere, just where it's a little less crowded. I'm not trying to sound whiny or complainy when I say that, I just, there was a lot of activity going on in there, and we would have been there forever. So, just better to do it this way. In fact, let's... I know we're saving up tabs to get those trusts, but... Conchitat Highlands... Oh, wow! It's actually letting us go there at no charge. I'll take it. Hopefully we have better luck out here. I'm surprised I'm even landing any of these archery shots with our archery skill being non-existent. Oh yeah, let's get those buffs up. Special delivery. Oh, there we go. Pair of fetish legs. So now we just need the hands and we can mark this case closed. Since we're out here in the highlands, we should also check to see if that Gillydew sapling notorious monsters hanging out. We should be fine to take him on now. Even today, Vanadiel's world still, still captivates me, still speaks to my soul. Love it. Looking forward to exploring the rest of it and seeing places that I haven't seen before as we advance further in the story. It looks like Gillydew is up. I've checked him on the wide scan and I'm tracking him right now. So let's fight him and see if we get lucky and get that great sword drop. There he is. I'm not sure if he links with other saplings. I guess we'll find out. Let's kill this one. See if he jumps in. Uh, ne never mind. 
mind. All right, let's just kill this guy just in case they do link. I'm not really too worried, but you never know. I can't remember exactly how strong this guy is. Where the heck did he go? Oh, there he is. Made like a throwing thapling, I went for a throw. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. Nice! That's the sword I was talking about. The two-handed sword with TP drain. Excellent. That makes me feel better about us not getting a drop from that uh, Quidov notorious monster that we fought. Go home, turtle. You're drunk. Oh, that's brutal. That axe skill is just flying. And another one bites the axe. At least with our trust party, we're cutting through these guys super quick. And there we go. Got the final piece that we need. So that's all four pieces we need for mission 1-3. And our key to advancing further in the story. Thanks for bearing with me on that, folks. Let us warp. I always thought that was a weird pose. found the warp button it's just somewhere on my butt let me find it so now we just got to go down to the gate guard here and turn that stuff in and that'll be done deal they might even let us flag the next mission sometimes they'll want you to earn more conquest points before they'll give you another mission at which point you can just trade some crystals into the signet guard at least that's how it was back in the day i'm not 100 percent sure if that's still a thing now now, I think we just have to trade the pieces to this guy here. Good, you brought all four parts of the doll. I am raising your rank to two for completing this mission. Congratulations. If you've been to the Palboro Mines, you must know now the serious nature of the threat these beastmen pose to our civilization. Oh, I think they're being well taken care of by all the people that practically live there. As a Bastocker, you are expected to take on more missions and go on conquest to preserve Bastok's brilliant future. But I cannot give you a new mission at this time. You need to collect rank points before taking on new missions. You can receive rank points by participating in conquests and donating the crystals you acquire to guards, or by undertaking missions you previously completed. Ask the High Guard near the gatehouse if you wish to hear more about conquests. Oh, look at that, all official and shit. We have completed our mission as well. Oh, if it isn't Dalzak, I see that you've made it home safely. Did anything strange happen in the Mines District while I was away? I have a bad feeling about that place. It's nothing official, but I did hear from a guard there that... Master Dalzak, Wary has... Wary has... Wary has what, Gwil? It seems as if Wary left on his journey of rebirth. I see. We all knew this day would come eventually, but the Galka and the Mines District will still be sorrowful. What should we do, Mr. Dalzak? Keep calm, Gwil. You cannot live your life always depending on others. However, we are all worried. I will make preparations to set out again and investigate Wary's disappearance. And we got a thousand gil. That's nice. Let's see if he'll give us our next mission. Missions currently available are as follows. Oh no, he's not. All right, let's, uh, what do we have for crystals?
Probably don't need to donate that many, but just to be safe, let's go ahead and do that. We have awarded you rank points for the crystals you've donated. And what we've got left there. Oh. Oh, I guess, oh, I guess I should read before I do things. <laughs> Let's go check on theft. Missions available are as follows. The Crystal Line. There's our next one. So this is Mission 2-1. Have you heard of a strange structure called the Crag of Dem? Bitch, we were just there. It is on the Conchitat Highlands, north of the Gustaberg Mountain. They say that crystals are drained of their power if you take them to a certain section of that structure. Chief Sid is currently investigating this strange phenomenon and is asking for someone to bring back a faded crystal. Go see him for a more detailed explanation of your objectives. You want a crystal to use for this experiment? Are you not an adventurer? It should be easy for you to procure one. Will you accept this mission? With how much progress we've made, we're gonna fly through these next couple of missions. I find the story really starts to take off around mission 2-3. Because so we just finished 1-3, this is 2-1, then we've got 2-2. I mean, they're all part of the story, but 2-3, I find, is where the story starts to really take off, and you feel like you're really starting to become a part of things rather than just doing these odd bullshit jobs. Well, we all got to start from the bottom. Back in the Metalworks. We'll go see Sid, and we'll find out what we need to know about this next mission. The funny thing is, a lot of these missions difficulty hasn't changed and now with the game being a lot more solo friendly missions that might have been a little tricky to do before by yourself are now quite simple to do ah you've been assigned to investigate the faded crystals there are many strange phenomena associated with that place as you've heard i've scanned that area and i found there is a strong crystal resonance on a straight line between that structure and juno for now i'm calling it the crystal line Never mind, you're getting that blank expression on your face again. I'll skip the details. There are three places near the structure where you can get faded crystals. They're shining raised platforms called telepoints. Place a crystal on a telepoint and the crystal will be drained of its power. Do that and bring back the faded crystal to me. Oh, one more thing. To put the crystal on a telepoint, use trade. You dum dum. Okay. Well, this sounds like it'll be one of the easiest things we've ever done in this playthrough. Ah, shit, I missed the elevator. Let's take off to the Bastok Mines and we'll use the book to head back to Konstantin Highlands. Hopefully they're still offering free book teleports. Stayed up all night to get lucky. Stayed up all night to get lucky. Fernando! I always get excited when I see other players. Okay, so I can't remember exactly where you're supposed to trade the crystal. We'll try trading it to the telepoint and see if that does anything. Oh, nice. Got a faded crystal. And in typical Pierso 86 fashion, I forgot to buy an instant warp scroll. So we're just going to have to hoof it back to the book. Of course, that won't matter for you guys. Because I'm just going to cut this out and edit. Good, you brought back a faded crystal. As I thought, its pattern of deterioration is almost identical to the one found in Badooks. <sighs> I just don't know what to make of all the strange occurrences that have been happening lately. I wonder if this has anything to do with the shattered telepoint we discovered recently. Hmm? Oh, sorry, just talking to myself. Good job. You can... Wait, can I ask you to do something else for me? Do you remember Volker? He came here when you were reporting the results of your first mission to me. It'd be best if you could deliver this to him personally, but he's a busy man and hard to find. Give it to one of his Mithril Musketeers instead. Ayami and Naji should be on guard near the President's office. Either one will do. Well, okay, we can do that. I think we'll go to Ayami. That's the one that Naji has the hots for. We haven't, uh... 
We haven't actually met her yet, so let's go see her. And we could peek at that CL report, but the uh, NPCs sometimes get upset when you do that. I think Ayami's up here. Mm, you're not Ayami. Let's check over here. Hello? There she is. It is a pleasure to... Oh, you have a Bastok Trust Permit. I am assisting the Juno Institute of Magical Studies in gathering data on this new trust magic. One of my duties as a ranking member of the Mithril Musketeers is to ensure that we are ready for any eventuality. It is my firm belief that this new discovery may serve us well. It is my fervent hope that it will aid us in our struggles against the Beastman Confederate. If not, perhaps it can at least be used to assist with some of our more menial tasks. If possible, I would like to enlist your aid in this endeavor. But unfortunately, it seems this magic would require a bond between us. A bond we do not yet share. There are other things you must take care of first. I wish you the best in your efforts to protect Bestock. So yeah, she won't let us do the trust thing with her until we're rank 3. You have a letter from the chief engineer. May I see it? This is a report on the investigation of the Crystal Line. It is addressed to our captain. This might mean our company is moving out soon. Thank you for bringing this to me. Your presence is very much appreciated. The chief is a little busy these days to do such chores himself. I must ask you one thing, though. Why did you bring this to me and not Naji? He is also a mithril musketeer and posted closer to the entrance. Well, Naji's kind of a tool, though. <laughs> Naji didn't look smart enough. Ayami looked more reliable. Because I felt like it. <laughs> uh, we'll cater to her ego a little bit. Thank you for the compliment. Mithril Musketeers are supposed to be reliable, but I wasn't sure if I could fit the role. Well, at least I do a little more than Naji. You're very perceptive. I like that in an adventurer. I guess I'll be seeing you around a lot more. Will you do the trust thing with us now? Please? Ah, uh, damn it.